Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a relationship spread for you guys, yes. And uh, we start the reading, uh, Virgo, with destiny and celebrations. Yeah, it sounds like such fun, doesn't it? So, uh, mm-hmm, and you know, this man's looking at his hand. Looks like a man's hand, but you know, anyway, uh, and there's something like kind of, kind of stamped. It's not stamped, but he sees something on his hand uh, that I don't think other people might be able to see. So he's understanding that there's, uh, that he has, that there's destiny, right? That <clears throat> he has found his destiny. I feel like you, you think that here. And this celebrations card, we have back and forth and professional assistance. All right, Virgo. And, uh, <clears throat> and so this back and forth card is an intention. You could be setting this intention to celebrate with somebody, but you could go back and forth on it, right? Maybe you might be going, well, I want to really do this with so-and-so, but, um, you know, uh, but then you change your mind because the man's on the teeter-totter, right? And this professional assistance person, it's next to the healing light. This is spirit. So you're healing or you're trying to heal maybe a breakup, possibly. Yeah, we'll talk about that. But, you know, this personal assistance, and I don't mean that you're really trying to heal it. Maybe you are for some, but it looks like you're trying to heal from it, right? This, <clears throat> excuse me, professional assistance, and the light is there uh, on the paper, right? Uh, you know, and so it just kind of looks like uh, maybe you're talking to a psychic or something, but you know, they look like lawyers or, uh, or counselors or something like that, right? For me, it kind of looks like a lawyer, but it could be, maybe you're going to talk to, uh, like a therapist that could be as well. And, uh, then we have the healing light and then we have these two cards and, you know, in this card, this woman is being condemned, right? Like they put her here and she's in trouble. And these two guys are in the front. They're kind of sinister and she's back here stuck and there's some notice that, you know, she did something wrong. You could be feeling like you're being punished. Yeah, I feel like you do. Or you feel like people are talking about you, right? And so here's the man, here's Hermes. And uh, this is typically what they call him, but you know, you can call him anything, right? But basically he has the messenger, right? He's got his little wings on his uh, sandals, a very cool, right? And... Um, <laughs> And then he has the wings on his helmet and he's consoling this woman. He just brought her news because he's the messenger. So, you know, you could be like feeling punished, just telling somebody that, I don't know, that you want to talk to a lawyer or that you want to like possibly leave uh, because there's something that you really want to celebrate. And this card came first. So this is much, uh, this is most important to you, this destiny and celebrations. Let's see what they say about the professional assistance. Maybe, uh, maybe it's power and light, uh, Virgo, right? <laughs> you could be saying what Ex expert support, a man and woman are working together in a library. These people are experts in their field and you can rely on them for their advice. The potential for great assistance is open to you now. So don't hesitate to pursue it. Okay. So you could be, maybe you want to seek, maybe you just want to talk to somebody about the situation, right? It doesn't always have to be uh, professional. It could be just, you know, no, you don't always need a certificate to be professional. No, you don't. Uh, you know, they make you get a certificate for everything, right? The guy, you know, they, <laughs> it's like, it's ridiculous, right? But you know, this could be just somebody you feel like is good. They're, they're good. They're like, in your mind, they're professional, right? So they might offer a professional type support. Look at your life to find the areas where professional help might be required. An accountant can assist you in a business. A broker might be able to help you answer investment questions, a lawyer, a dispute. Okay. So it doesn't, it could be those, right? Could be, mm-hmm. Now this card could also indicate a new direction in your career. You may be drawn to helping others in a professional capacity. Okay. So this could be about your own career too, right? Possibly. I feel like you, it's more about this intention that you are setting here or this destiny that you want to celebrate with somebody. All right. Let's see what they say about the back and forth. It's right here. And this is, it's pretty obvious, but let's see what they say. The guy's on the teeter totter and you know, he's not really trying to have fun there. He's trying to, he's kind of like the two of pentacles energy on the intention seesaw. A man stands on the center of the seesaw with one foot on each side of the fulcrum. When he learns 
leans to the right, the left side of the seesaw lifts. Okay, he could be spending lots of time and energy moving back and forth, yet staying in the same place. The man is representative of your mental and energetic focus right now. You're in a quandary stuck between two choices. Wow, going back and forth because you're unsure and maybe even afraid. Okay, so you look like you're a little bit afraid here. Okay, so let's get into it though. Let's see what these tarot cards have to say for you, Virgo. Yeah, let's see what they have to say. We're going to use this deck today. And let's get a couple a couple snuffles in here. I hope you guys are all well, right? And these are really uh, shuffles, of course. Let's see what we have for Virgo. Mm -hmm. And your person's going to show up here because uh, their perspective will show up. So you look like you're a little afraid, but I mean, because you think that somebody is your destiny, but you're going back and forth about it. So that for me is fear, right? You might have to tell somebody goodbye over here and you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Maybe people are gossiping, as I said. Let's see what we have for Virgo, please. For Virgo. And we'll get one more shuffle. Let's see what we have. The present situation, Virgo, the lovers, the knight of wands, the two of swords. See what I mean? This two of swords is like, well, I'm not sure here. She gave the swords to the other, she gave the swords to uh, these two men here, but basically she's wearing a blindfold. This is kind of like, I'm at a stalemate, a quandary, and the heart of the matter is the knight of cups. Yeah, so this is all about a love offer. And uh, let's see here. <clears throat> and their perspective. There could be two people in this perspective, in this, right? Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords. Your person really feels, Virgo, that you're making a decision here to launch a new beginning for yourself. Because the King Sword is down... But the falcon, or it's not a falcon, but whatever bird this is on his shoulder is, you know, ready to be launched or let go for a new beginning to fly, right? And here is the page of cups with the eight of swords. So your person thinks that you're going to cut ties with them for a new beginning with somebody. Yeah. They could be thinking that you want to tell them. Page of Cups can be a messenger. You want to tell them that you're, uh, you know, following your intuition. Maybe here's the fish coming out of the cup. And this has everything to do with intuition, right, and feelings. But your person here, Eight of Swords, this man's cutting her, tie, cutting her, her ties and releasing her. Your person thinks you want to release yourself from them, most likely here. And let's look at, uh, mm-hmm. We have Temperance reversed, the Hierophant, and we have the Sun card. Okay, so let's look at the past here. The past is down here, right? Which is supposed to be looked at first, which is kind of strange here, but uh, not strange, but the way they kind of uh, have this kind of like set out here. Okay, and the past, uh, Virgo, Seven of Swords, the Tower, and the Magician. So you were in the Tower, like like feeling really shook up here. That's what this back and forth, I believe, is about. You were in this tower, like your world, you, you might have felt like your world was cracking in half or a big shakeup in your life. It could have been a powerful realization that you love somebody, that somebody is your destiny, Virgo, right here. And so, and I feel like you wanted to escape wherever you were, Seven of Swords. It could have been escape to solitude, but it looks like escape away, like run away, right? To manifest something else, the magician, right? You guys see these cards? You can. Your future, Virgo. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the temperance card, reverse, Hierophant, Sun. <clears throat> you know, temperance reversed, it's possible, you know, this, this is, it could be, a, there could be a Sagittarian here. And over here, talking about, I kind of didn't finish this. Your current situation here is you're at a, I, I might have mentioned it, but this two of swords, you're kind of at a stalemate about taking action on this choice, on a lover, somebody you feel like is, is just your true love and your destiny. 
Let's see what they say about temperance reversed in the future. Let's see what they say. This is a different deck. Yeah, so, you know, I'm cutting myself some slack here. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's see what it says for uh, for this. And uh, what is this? Is, uh, this is 14. Mm -hmm. Like my grandma used to say, you 14, Nisi? Yeah, because she was from... Uh, she was from Louisiana. Yeah, before that, uh, she was from Brazil. Yeah, when she was real little. So let's see. Let's look at Temperance. Where is that card? Oh, this this did they, this lady has these cards kind of, in my opinion, put together very, <clears throat> very strangely. But it's okay. This is what she wanted to do. But I'm not sure if I can find that temperance card. So, you know, this temperance card reversed, it can talk about uh, somebody who is kind of, what's the word? Like ungrounded here. But I feel like you might be dealing with a Sagittarian here. So this is like, this can, you want to heal the situation with somebody. I feel like you do. Uh, and you know that you're going to break somebody's heart over here and you have to tell them and they're going to be really upset. Maybe you have already done this. You could have already escaped here. You could have walked away from something. Seven of Swords, he's walking away. Maybe you have just, you know, you could have made the choice here, but you, you haven't taken action yet. You could really be afraid. It's unclear if you've already made this decision to walk away. I mean, I know you've made the, I feel like you have made it, but it's not 100%. But you could have, like, to go towards somebody, you could have already walked away from somebody down here. You could be back and forth. Like, I wonder if I should go back. But this really is about your destiny right here, Virgo. And you know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know where they put temperance. Good God. <clears throat> Let's see real quick. Let's see if we can see it here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't know where they have hidden temperance. It's okay. Okay, but we know temperance is healing. And this is in the reverse. This could be saying here that... Mm -hmm. I just feel like this Hierophant and this Sun card in the future talks about your happiness in a relationship. Because we have celebrations and destiny. You want to go where somebody's really... Somebody brings you joy, and I don't feel like you're there right now. Ace of Cups, you see? In the near future, you want a brand new beginning in love with somebody. I feel like you have a little bit of fear about somebody you want to go to. Yeah, that's it. You're afraid of this person or something. Like they're, Maybe they're going to judge you because this woman is being condemned. This is about judgment. And, you know, these guys in the front, or the, the, you can see the guy's look on his face. He's very sinister with the blue coat. And then the woman is being condemned, and she's being held by this kind of, you know, it's like a guillotine without cutting your head off. I don't know what they call that without that part, right? But uh, there's a notice about what she did. Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, this person did something. But, you know, the woman, her mother looks like she's there with her brother, Right? And so, you know, this, this woman feels sorry for her being judged or condemned or punished. So you feel like, you know, maybe you feel like you're going to punish somebody here by telling them goodbye, possibly, because here's the man consoling. Let's get another card on the future. The nine of pentacles reversed. Yeah, I feel like you want to be single here. You could have detached from somebody and you want to rebuild with them, but you're kind of in between, Virgo. It's interesting here because you know this person is your Ace of Cups and your destiny. We're going to end the reading, Virgo. Good luck to you guys, right? Thank you so much, you guys, for watching uh, and good luck with your meditation. I feel like that will help you uh, resolve your problem, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to type in Power and Light Tarot. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> the way you're getting the uh, daily uploads. Thank you so much.